All right, hey, this is Hans, and it's time for another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today, I got some from Malaysia. Got some jasmine, double extra large rice noodles, and their white curry, Penang white curry. If you don't know, you will soon about the white curry. So in 2013, a company made some uh, white curry and it was really popular. I liked it. They liked that I liked it. And uh, it went kind of viral for a while there. And there was a zillion different varieties of it. Like, seriously, one zillion. And uh, fancy, fancy stuff. Four minutes. And then uh, they, yeah, they're good. White curry is a very, very peculiar flavor. If you're not used to white curry, you're gonna be like, but once you try it, oh my goodness. But this one's, this one's a rice vermicelli. It's not really a vermicelli, it's just a rice. Uh, yeah, you just boil it for four minutes in 400 mils of water, and then add this and this, stir it up, then add this and stir it up. That's all you do. It's easy. So yeah, these guys do rice noodles. I don't know if they actually do wheat noodles as well. They might. They might at some point. Yeah. Third review of the day. God, it's already 140. Wow. I did get out and walk though while they were in school, so that was good. But it's really strange. It's like the day is flying by and that shouldn't be the case. I don't have any, oh, good. I put my beverage in the freezer so it'd get cold and I almost forgot about it. And if I had, the entire house could have been, or freezer at least, could have been covered in uh, peach mango caffeinated beverage. It's cold now. Uh, I'm gonna use that bowl. Cool. Yeah, white curry is like, if, if you've had Indian curry, it's not Indian curry. If you've had Japanese curry, it's not that way. It's a combination of, it's what they call nyonya, nyonya, N-Y-O-N-Y-A, which is a combination of Malaysian, Indian, and Chinese influences. And that all came to like a, a point in Penang, Malaysia. And I had the fortune to visit there in 2014 uh, and meet people from a food company that were there and going all like all we did was visit places and they introduced us to foods and it was like okay when you when you wake up go down and get a little bite to eat at the hotel thing you know and then we're gonna go out and visit visit places we went to so many hawker stalls and food carts and everything and, and then it was like it was lunchtime they just keep bringing out all these different things. Of the things that I tried there that were interesting, I really like rojak, which is like rice cake of different type with a special sauce on it, some vegetables. That was good. Uh, the sunfish, barbecue sunfish is good. Um, but Penang white curry at Hot Bowl Nanya Delights in downtown in uh, Penang, that's amazing. Just every, every, God, the flavors in that area make everything here in the U.S. seem bland. It's like, why would anybody eat a cheeseburger? Why? It's like, you take the meat, you put it into the consistency of baby food, and then you put some kind of soggy bun on it. it it's, it's just like, that's not what food is. Trust me. 
Malaysia is food heaven. Just repeat that over and over and over while you're saving up to go there. If you're if you're what you like to call a foodie, that's a place you need to go. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one because I'm really curious what we have here. This might just be non-dairy creamer, or it might be coconut milk powder, or neither. I think this is just straight seasoning powder. This one may be the non-dairy creamer. They, they do that because it's white curry and it makes it a little creamier. Not a whole lot creamier. The way to do it is to use coconut milk powder and that is where it's at. My favorite white curry Odd sounds from outdoors. This is, yeah, here, come on. Let's show you what I'm talking about. So there's the seasoning I already put in. Here is the non dairy creamer. Yeah, it's just plain white light powder. So there's those two aspects. Now, if you went to a Malaysian restaurant, you would get this with a big blob of paste on top. And you would kind of mix it in as you ate. Because the paste is where it is the whole thing. But today, I'm just going to stir it in. That's what I usually do when I review. Yeah, so it starts, this part's white. And yeah, you would be presented with a big blob of paste on top. And then what you do is you take a little bit of the broth and a little bit of the paste and mix it up. It's definitely a little ballet of culinary delight. Such things you'll find in it will be like egg and uh, fish ball. Those are things I'll add in. Hmm. Primarily, uh, white curry paste is uh, got a lot of shrimp to it. Very oily, spicy, rich. Look at that! Yeah. But it's a different kind of curry. If you've never had, if you if you've never had white curry, then Whatever what I'm saying here, all these weird, this word salad is uh, simply that. You gotta try it. There are varieties of uh, Penang white curry on the U.S. market. Ibby Me makes one called Curry Me, and Mike Quali makes one called Penang white curry. That one has my label la logo on it, on the side. Or I might mention top ten, top ten list. All right. Here's where the rubber meets the road, kids. So here's our vermicelli, or I don't the bihun. That's nice. And then here, so first off I do this. I wanna see how oily it is. It's got a nice oiliness. Light on the heat. Boy, oh, there's that burn. I like that. What, what I like about this, well, there's a couple other companies that make uh, white curry rice vermicellis. What I like about this one is that is the gauge of the rice vermicelli is really quite quite an apt choice. The other ones usually are those really, really wispy thin. And honestly, I think this works much better.
Look at that. Yeah. Okay, let's make it so. We're gonna use, God, where am I gonna put it all? Here's some tofu puff. It's literally fried tofu that kind of puffs up. And it carries flavor. More of like a texture thing. That. Something that goes very well with it are mung bean sprouts. Don't run away. Um, got some fish ball we're gonna let hang out in here. Three fish ball. I don't know. This is a tricky deal because you gotta kinda do it quick if you want it to make it look nice and see the bra. Um, what else am I throwing in here? I've got egg. Jammy egg, as it were. I just always call them soft boiled eggs, but a lot of people like to use the term jammy egg. Say that they're wrong. So here is mm, I don't know about the placing of that. Fine. You might find uh, at an Indian or a Malaysian restaurant, they might have like some pork cracklings or fried pork rind bits or maybe onion. Sometimes maybe onion on the side. Let me put this away. I'm gonna use some fried onion. Is it garnish? I go for this. I go for this brand. It's Fresh Express. It's way better than like the French's ones you make a uh, green bean casserole with around Thanksgiving. That stuff is gross. It's all like fatty. These are nice and light and crisp. It's the closest thing I can really find to what I find at the Asian grocery. Um. We got that. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper all around. And we're gonna add a sprig of mint. From my, from the garden. We're gonna put her right there. Mint complements this curry so, so well. I, I gotta say. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is a bowl that I would I would say is quite enticing. Indeed.
this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. And that's it for me for today. There'll be three more that I'll do tomorrow. And yeah, and uh, yeah. But that's it for me for right now. Oh, by the way, um, the backgrounds, when these get posted uh, on www.theramenraider.com, I've started doing my backgrounds with AI. I use Photoshop Beta. And in there, it has something called Generative Fill. And what you can do is, so I, I, I make a, a blank canvas, 2,500 by 2,500 pixel square. And then I use Generative Fill. I do a rubber band box around the whole thing. And it's like, what do you want? So for like something like this, I would say traditional Malaysian wallpaper centered. And then it starts coming out with stuff. If I wanted it red, I'll throw red in there. If I want it primarily blue, I'll throw blue in there. Maybe do traditional, classic, modern, all sorts of stuff. So it's a lot of fun and a lot more control over my backgrounds rather than just digging around and finding stuff. So pretty cool. Anyways, this has been Hans the Rominator wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Like, subscribe, really helps me out. Have a good one, and bye-bye.